Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel of Java Noobs. My name is Sharad and uh, today I will be showing you how to download and install NetBeans IDE on your system. Okay, uh, and apart from this I will also be demonstrating a very simple program at the end of this tutorial just to check if the installed IDE is working well. Okay. Now, uh, without wasting any time, uh, let me quickly uh, start the tutorial. Now, first of all, uh, let me tell you what NetBeans IDE is. Well, uh, NetBeans IDE, uh, it stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's basically a Java platform uh, which is used to run Java programs. Okay, so it's, uh, it's just a user interface which will make things very easy for a developer okay so you'll learn uh, more about this uh, after the installation i will uh, explain a few key and important things of the netbeans so uh, firstly to download and install this you'll have to go to google.com So once you reach google.com, just type in netbeans download and uh, just open the first link. You can uh, press it, I mean click this straight away here or you can right click it and open it in another tab however you like. it is unusually slow yeah there we go so once you right click on this tab you'll uh, get to this page all right so this is the netbeans.org website and uh, here here are the different versions of the netbeans which which supports java basically okay so uh, you, you're having two versions here that is the java se standard edition and enterprise edition java ee okay so i'm going to go ahead and download the enterprise edition because uh, it's having a lot of features like uh, netbeans platform sdk uh, java se fx ee and html5 and it also uh, uh, installs the servers here like glassfish server and apache tomcat well uh, as of now i would tell you uh, Please don't break your head too much on these servers. I'll do a separate tutorial uh, about these servers as well. Okay, so uh, I would suggest you to download the EE version. Okay, it's about 204 MB. So just go ahead and click on this download button here and your download uh, will start as soon as possible depending on your internet speed. Uh, yeah, uh, the download has started and like I told you it's 204 MB so that would take uh, a while for it to get downloaded. So uh, as of now what I'll do is I'm cancelling this down download because I've uh, gone ahead and I've already downloaded the, the exe file. Okay, uh, now since this is a tutorial I don't want to waste much of time here. So I'll just go ahead and I'll show you the uh, downloaded exe file. Okay. So once the download is complete, go to downloads folder and uh, just uh, you'll get a file called as NetBeans 7. Point, uh, whatever for Windows. Okay. So just double click this and your installation should start. Okay, so the installation is done and uh, I would suggest you to click on these two, you know, Glassfish Server and Apache Tomcat because uh, it would come in handy in future. Okay, so uh, since I've already installed this on my system, it's not, uh, you know, showing me uh, any kind of prompt to install it. Okay, so I'll just uh, click on next. But in your case, I would suggest you to uh, just click check on 
these both boxes and uh, if you don't want it that's totally fine you can just go ahead with the installation okay and you'll have to accept the terms and conditions hit on next and again and if you uh, notice there is an error message here that uh, telling that uh, oh yeah, uh, there is an error message here telling that this JDK version is older than the recommended JDK 7.10. For stability reasons, we recommend that you download and install the latest JDK 7 update and restart the NetBeans. Okay, now for people who haven't installed the Java JDK, you can uh, either go and uh, visit my channel and I've done a tutorial on how to install the uh, Java JDK. Or uh, you can go here, you can click on this link, download the latest Java JDK and install it. And then you can go ahead uh, with the NetBeans installation. But as of now, it's not a problem. You can just go ahead and with your uh, uh, JDK which is installed, you can go ahead with this particular NetBeans installation. So the, uh, not to worry about this error message. So just click on next. And uh, if you want, you can check this box, check for updates, which uh, momentarily I will uh, uncheck it because I will be uh, checking for updates later on. So there we go, the installation has started. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just pause this recording and I will be back once, uh, you know, this uh, status bar has reached 100% okay so stay tuned yeah uh, so the installation has been completed okay so once the state uh, status bar reach 100 percent you will find this particular frame here so uh, there is an uh, option for you to contribute to netbeans project to uh, by providing anonymous usage data well, if you want, you can check this. In my case, I'm unchecking it. And once you're done with this, just uh, hit on finish. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that's it. We have successfully installed the NetBeans IDE 7.3. And uh, after the installation, here you can see the icon for a NetBeans 7.3. Okay. So just double click on this and your NetBeans IDE should open anytime now. Usually when you're opening it for the first time, it will uh, uh, take quite a long time to open. Okay, so I just closed the starting page. I don't think uh, that is necessary. Yeah, uh, so we have successfully installed the NetBeans. Uh, Okay, so this is the user interface what you'll be uh, seeing once you double click on uh, the NetBeans icon and uh, if you can notice the, uh, there are 35 updates found here. Now if you want to update uh, and keep your NetBeans uh, up to date then just click on this and click on install but as of now I won't be uh, you know, worrying much about this so I'm just closing this. and. Uh, you can see that NetBeans user interface, it's, it's, uh, it actually eases uh, the pain of uh, you know, writing the program in a notepad and uh, compiling it and running it in a command prompt. Okay? What, what NetBeans does is it, uh, it automatically uh, it, it will run the program. I mean, uh, there will be an option for you over here. So once, once you create a new program, when you uh, click on this button here, then you can run the program. Okay, and apart from that, there are many, many features. It's it's vast and it's complex. Okay, uh, what you can do is you can create your new project, and uh, you can create uh, Java projects, and you can uh, create different framework projects, and uh, you can create uh, desktop application, and and there are many, many things uh, which you can do. Uh, eventually you'll learn this uh, in some time as, as you're using it, okay? So uh, that's pretty much uh, about the NetBeans IDE. So like I told you, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a simple uh, 
program just to check if the installation uh, has been successfully uh, completed or not okay there's an option to create a new project so I'm just going to uh, hit on that and uh, there are several options here to create uh, many projects like uh, FX, web, EE and so on so uh, since I'm doing a simple demonstration here I'm going to select Java application here and uh, hit on next and I'm going to name the project as hello world the standard okay and you can browse uh, to the desired uh, location where you want to save this project to okay so uh, in my case I'm uh, leaving it on the D drive which is suitable for me you can select whichever drive you want or you can uh, just leave it in the default folder as well and uh, I'm just going to uh, click on finish now before that notice that I haven't check this uh, check this uh, main class okay because it automatically it creates a main class you know what uh, I'll actually check this and let let uh, NetBeans create the main class for me okay so I'm just going to uh, hit on finish and look at this how beautifully you know the whole structure is created by NetBeans and uh, uh, you can see that uh, you know there are small drop down arrows here so when you uh, you know uh, press on them or when you click on them you can see that it's created a default package known as hello world and it's also created a class known as hello world by default I mean uh, since we clicked it there okay now uh, it's it's created a structure here it's named the class as hello world and uh, here you can notice that uh, these are comments not to worry just delete them and uh, if you want you can add some comments now uh, the author of this program is Sharad Babu, that's me. If you want you can delete them as well. But I'm just uh, giving you an example. See how beautifully uh, you know it's created a main class for us as well. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll type in system dot out dot print ln. And inside this I'm going to type in a message welcome to Java Loops by Sharad Babu. Okay. So obsessed with my name, yeah. Alright, uh, so that's about it. Now go ahead and uh, save this program. So you can either click this button here or you can go uh, to file and click on save. Okay, so just save this and uh, you can see that there is a green play button here. So this button is the run button. So the moment you hit on run, it uh, compiles in a new window. I'm sorry, it, it compiles and shows the output in the output window if you can see that uh, after the compilation and uh, once the program is run it's showing me that uh, this this message is displayed on the output screen here so welcome to java noobs by sharad babu okay so uh, this proves that we have successfully uh, downloaded and installed netbeans and like i've uh, mentioned earlier i've given you a demonstration of uh, how uh, to write a simple program so I've just given you an example of hello world so I hope that uh, this video was helpful to you and in future I will be making a lot of useful videos so stay tuned to my channel and uh, please like and subscribe this channel and if you're having any feedbacks uh, please go ahead and write it in the uh, comment box and uh, I'll go ahead and if if you are also having any doubts, please uh, don't hesitate. Go ahead and write your doubts. I'll go ahead and clear it for you. Okay. Thank you once again for watching. And uh, this is Sharad signing off from Java News. Thank you.